Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 2 and 2, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Who you got to call? Paul Rudd. Really? Yeah. Paul Rudd is going to be in Ghostbusters 2020, whatever it's going to be nice. called. He is in New York. He was in front of the, the firehouse. He said he was, how ecstatic he is that he's sliming all over himself because he's in the Ghostbusters. Nice. I know, I know, I know. So I'm happy that Ew. he's in it. That's good. I mean, I just hope that he's an actual Ghostbuster and not just yeah. a side character. I think he might. Yeah, be. That, that would be dull. That would be He dull. might be a Ghostbuster. It'd be great. And uh, you sent me the trailer. A whole bunch of people sent me the trailer of Charlie's Angels, which I got to say, yeah. not bad. I, I thought it looked good. Yeah, it was I, okay. Really? I, I was, I, was, I, I thought mean, it looked I great. It, I thought it's okay. Really? I, I'll watch, yeah, I'll watch it again. And But I wasn't too overly impressed by oh, it. Oh, I, I, I thought it was – I really liked it. I thought, you know, Kristen Stewart – It sounds great. like they used the original voice actor for uh, Charlie at the end. No. I'm going to have to rewatch it. They didn't. I mean, they, okay. they said that they didn't. They, they didn't want to have a thing. So they had somebody similar talk like that. Okay, that's probably it. Yeah. I'll yeah. go back. Like I said, I'll go back and rewatch it just because it, it, it was that. That was like a there's, there's, there's an article about it. They they tell you. We we covered that on the Everything Show already. Right? Yeah. So like they they wanted a they had to do a different voice because he passed away and so yeah. it would be the pain to get uh, the rights. All right. So Henry Cavill is playing Sherlock Holmes. Oh, but, nice. but the movie is not centered around Sherlock Holmes, and it's not centered around Minecraft. It's it, it's centered around his teenage sister, which is going to be played by Millie Bobby Brown, and how she's an ins aspiring detective or something, and you know. So I guess they're creating something for the new generation where Sherlock Holmes and his brother are going to be secondary to the sister. <coughs> Straight up, yeah. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't know how that's going to be, but... Yeah. yeah. I, it, it, it might surprise us, but I see it as a number two or number three. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to do well. Um, so we got, uh, let's see, uh, Michael Chabon, Chabon from Wonder Boys and Amazing Adventures of Cap at Caviar and Clay. He's doing, he's going to be the showrunner of the card. Okay. So I don't really know who he is, but uh, he is the showrunner. I'd have to see a picture of him. I might, it might spark my memory, but. Yeah. Um, let me just go over box office real quick. Toy Story for the Wednesday's numbers. Two hundred ninety-one million. So we're we're close to three hundred there, right? Number one movie, uh, and again, it's one hundred sixty-seven domestically. Annabelle comes home, seven million. Good movie. Good movie. Yep, seven million. Um, Aladdin, number three, eight hundred nineteen. Damn, I know that's insane. All those wishes are must be coming true then. I guess so. Secret Life of Pets, two. Uh, 199 million, not yeah, near a billion. One, and uh, what was I forget was what was, I forget was in theater two, but yeah, I mean I forget what was in theater one, but that one was at least in two theater two or three at uh, Synergy. Men in Black International, 186 million, not that good. Uh, Child's Play is sixth place. Good movie. It was a good I, movie. A bad place. Uh, 18 million. I know. Like I was telling you, at, by the end of the week, it's going to be out of the top ten. Yeah, I figured, yeah, I know. Which is bad. It's bad. Our Rocket Man. Because it wasn't really, it didn't really shine. It, I, it's a bad placement of a release date, I guess. So it, they, should, it, they should have brought that out uh, maybe a month early. Or or four months later yeah. when it's dying down. Um, so, yeah, it, the sad part is it, it's going to be in a theater less time than Hellboy, which is crazy. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's, and that's what they should have done. Well, I don't know because look at what Hellboy was going out, uh, going up against too. I mean, so. well, you don't want it to be in the theater less time than Hellboy. I mean, it it, yeah. it it just got wrecked, you know. Uh let's see. John Wick is eighth place. 
John Wick Chapter 3, uh, 291. Keeps making money, man. Keeps making money. Um, and then we got uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Good movie. And yes, and has 371. So we got a little jump. Yeah. Far in numbers that we were expecting on, on today. Uh, and Dark Phoenix is 10th yeah. place, uh, 234. I'm still dark. I'm surprised Dark Phoenix is in uh, in the top ten. I figured you'd at least be uh, it already dropped with uh, yeah uh, Annabelle having come in. I know. So pretty much. What else do I have to say? I don't know what Ghostbusters is shaping out to be. Yeah. You know what though? At least they're getting some. You know. And Taskmaster is the villain of um, Black Widow. You know? Okay. So we'll see what's going on with that. So if they're going to use the same character from... Yeah, I know, from the video game? Last or movie, whatever. yeah. Oh. What, what last movie? The one... Um, oh. Oh, Crossbones? Yeah, Crossbones. Oh, no, no. So this is the Everything Show, the one before 2000, 1999. We should be playing the song uh, Prince. Prince. Yeah. No. All right, guys. We will be back later. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.